All right. See what we can get cranking here. Oh Lord, stop. <laughs> it was disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> it was just disturbing. All right. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Jessica. All right. Um, talk about starting right from the beginning. We're going to start right from the beginning here. Nothing but a whiteboard 10 by 20 inches. All right. All right. If need be, I'll make this disappear. Because I know it's taking up a little bit of a of the screen and all of that uh we have a little titanium white ultramarine green uh sap green and some black all right okay all right well we're gonna just cover this up with black so that the ultramarine uh green blue will kind of stand out nice and strong all right so yeah, I'm starting right from the bare bones basic beginning here. Alright. This black that I'm using is um little little uh this heavy body thick um black here. So I'll probably end up going over it a few times. It is very warm here in the uh in my room. So this stuff is gonna dry remarkably fast because it's like 91 degrees in here. So Trust me, it will, uh, this stuff will dry up rather quickly. All right. I do have, like I said, this is really thick black paint. So it's going to tack up and dry. Um, while it's wet, it's going to get streaky like you see it now, but it won't matter once it dries. It's just one flat coat. All right. It is uh, a very solid, thick black paint here and if you're looking for a black background this is the type of paint you would need something that can just really you know there's no shades of gray or anything it's just really thick black paint hopefully I got enough to even cover this I don't know if I do or not I don't think so we'll try to eke it out here just cover it all up if it's a little thin in spots, then I'll I'll get some more paint and, and, and uh, go over it. Looks like I might not make it. Nope. Not going to make it. So I'll just get a little bit more. All I need is a touch more. And if I don't use all of this, I can always use it for the dark part of plants or whatever. But it's starting to tack up already and dry. Alrighty. I don't want no little flaky bits of white showing through or anything like that. So. Hey, Rob. What's going on? Good to see you. Now, how I do this as far as gluing the uh, watercolor paper onto the, the foam board here is I'll either do it with adhesive glue or I got a large jar of uh, Elmer's glue. And I go extremely close to the edge. Then I'll do the X mark there maybe a few squiggles in between i just hand press it right to the board and that's that okay you can see where it's still tacky and it's still a little bit dry but it's it's going to uh cover right up it's going to get solid and dry and all of that fun stuff and we'll start to do our painting after that so 
Hey, Vermont. All right. I see Vermont burn the goodies, but he's keeping it all to himself. I see that. All right. I usually would get me a little something to drink, but um, <coughs> not tonight. So we literally will sit here and watch paint dry, which won't take uh, really too long to do. So, but I will probably take a brush and I guess I'll lightly sketch out where I want some of these uh, flowers to be out. I'll, I'll use this color to do that while it's still somewhat wet. I can kind of sketch them out a little bit. I'll just use this lighter color here and try to oh uh, we'll place something somewhere uh, maybe something around in here and have it come around like here like two little lips here we we'll do the two little lippy thing there uh, we'll have kind of something flowing out this way all right the x marks the spot where it's going to be primarily pretty dark at all right, so that's one there. We'll try to make these uh, a little interesting. All right, I uh, think we'll have one there, one come up here, one come up here, maybe part of one right here, and then we'll have it Kind of a fold there and it comes up and around that way something like that all right like i said i'll move this i'll move this when it needs to be moved away somewhere maybe we'll just deal with those and then we'll put some leaves around it and we'll do some little who knows but we'll we'll fill it up a little bit all right okay all right but that's just me sketching it out real fast Purple Paisley, how are you? Been a minute. It's good to see you. We're just gonna horse around with some flowers and have a little fun, you know. Let's not take ourselves too seriously today. I'm just getting a long handled, uh, it's a half inch, but it's a long handled thing here. All right. I'm gonna keep the flowers probably more or less that color. Okay. All right. I'm going to probably tease some Prussian blue in there so I can have a nice dark area for these guys. Uh, we'll put it right in here somewhere. Something like that. And maybe I'll use that with a little bit of sap green to um, just to do something a little interesting with the leaves of the flowers. All right. Smash the like. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, let's... um. Well, let's get this party started. Let's pop some of this here. I think I'm, what I'm going to do, though, because I really want to accentuate this greenish blue color here. I'll contaminate that with a little bit of blue. We'll get a, a little bit of darkness into this. All right. All right. Uh, maybe a slight touch of glycerin. We'll loosen up this paint just a little bit. I'm just using glycerin on the tip of the brush just to move the paint around a little. Okay, all right. We'll start with this one. We'll zoom this up a little closer than than usual. We'll put it right about there. Let's move this about right here-ish. So let's work this one out. Let's put the focus on it there. Sharpen it up there. Okay, it'll be darker uh, in and around in, uh, here. So we'll just kinda, kinda once again, we'll just block it in. Don't worry about it being too smooth. Or we'll, we'll work that out a little later. So we'll just kind of, once again, we'll just kind of block this in. All of this uh, um, take shape a little bit later. 
so we'll keep that outside edge a little wild looking okay now as I cover all of this with this type of blue um, you figure I might lose what the flower would look like no I won't no you do it often enough you kind of know where you want to go with it all right let's take a little uh, well this popping a little more glycerin we'll put the glycerin somewhere around here we'll take a little bit of this blue we'll pop it in there like that okay oh uh, do I need a little bit of blue we'll, we'll tease a little black in that in that color all right you want something to kind of really accentuate the dark area which would be pretty much primarily right in here all right you need dark to accentuate and bring out the light and we're gonna brush that out a little bit out here like that and we'll come here light here on the edges and get a little higher up there in the middle it'll play out don't worry just like that come in the corner of you you can judge pretty much which one you want first last or whatever as far as petals go all right so we'll kind of pop him in there like that these two guys are somewhat facing us all right so they're a little lighter so we'll just take the natural color here I'll get just a smidge of glycerin we'll loosen up this paint I work with heavy body acrylic paint so a little touch of glycerin um just thins the paint a little bit all right now this is what the color looks like right off the tube all right so now you know how light this blue or blue green whatever you want to call it how light it actually is compared with just putting a little bit of black in it you see the color change you see the shift it doesn't take too much of another color to just change the value all right make it look like it just they look like cat eyes or lips or whatever you want to have them look like all right and once again i'm just fleshing out this guy just like that all right okay let me show you how this is going to play out here let's take some more of this color for these outside guys the vanishing point more or less will be i'll put it right down here so you guys can at least see it right there the two dots they're going to kind of meet at the dots there all right and you get to judge where you want more or less your um your highlights um to be a little bit later on all right okay hey Marilyn how are you so let me do something here real fast sometimes my live chat works sometimes it doesn't work so I have to um, um, take it out and put it back in real quick and then it somehow straightens out I think I'll, I'll get away with trying to use this brush all right let's um let me deal with the uh, the back pedals back there um, let's get a little bit of white and we'll put it around here kind of don't matter we use a little bit of this put it in there obviously it won't be the final highlight color but we need something a little bit lighter I'm <coughs> getting in some glycerin put it right in there just to lighten it up a little bit now you're gonna gather a lot of paint on your brush as you do this you don't really want too much of your paint on your brush it gets a little too congested with paint okay and I take it and I'll pull it towards me and I'll flip the brush over all right okay um let's go this way I'm just gonna press press down drag and slowly lift it back up we need more glycerin now I can tell if I can if I need more glycerin not just by doing that because you see how it's breaking up there um, it's too rough it's not enough glycerin to have it kind of flow through all right so we'll do that again and we have it disappear just like that I'm doing little overlaps as I'm doing it okay just like so and try to make those striations really kind of smooth looking all right I'm gonna come on in there like that uh, 
let's work on this one. We'll have it, well, we'll be pretty general. We'll just kind of pop it in there like that. I'm overlapping. I'm going to go on the other side here. Lay it pretty heavy there. And then a little, little lighter. It's a, once again, it's a kind of a flick of the wrist there. Okay. I'm thinking as I'm doing this. Let's bring that in. Let's curve that a little bit more inward. All right. Get some more. I'm flipping the brush around as I do each and every one of these. Okay. Um, I'll put the little dot there. Once again, all rows lead to Rome. All right. Uh, let's go up here. And you press. Go right down. Press. Press, go on down in there like that. Let's take this one, press, go on in there. Everything's heading in that direction. I'll bring that down a little bit more. Just like that. If I don't want the striations, I'll just keep going over it. But I'm going over it if you just follow the direction of where they're going. Okay. And doing it with this type of stroke almost denotes movement of the of the uh, the pedals while you're doing that okay all right um let's do a little something something with these guys like i said they're facing us so they're a little bit brighter so we're going to take a little bit of white in there we're going to brighten them up a little bit let's get some more of this blue mix it in there just like that now as i'm doing it I'm pushing some of this paint off of my off the furl of the brush itself. And get a little glycerin here, and we'll pull this toward me. Pull it towards you, and it gives the paint a chance to thin up a little bit. Okay. All right. I don't have to go in any directional strokes. We already know what direction they're going in. So basically, I'm just going to fill it with color. Uh, we'll do it mm, right around here, and go thin like that. But what I'm going to do really is, is just block it all in like this. Just block it in like that. All right. As you can see, I think I got an idea for that one. So we'll keep it like that. The more you do these, the more you get comfortable with them. Okay. Don't worry about things breaking up and acting a little, a little wonky. It's all right. You can kind of cover it okay so now anything brighter comes out to the front anything darker just naturally goes to the back now when I say bright and dark I'm not talking about um, um, something so drastic as in black and white but you're now talking about different values of the same color same color different values lighter value darker value but not necessarily pitch black all right okay Okay, Jessica. Good, good, good. Usually if I'm watching Bruce or I'm watching Diana and I'm not really, um, I don't have anything really pressing going on, I'll usually paint while they're chatting and painting. So I, I do usually do that. These are these flowers, this, um, these two flowers aren't gonna be too difficult to do. They're mainly just a bunch of giant petals. So I'll try to, once again, I'll just try to make them a little interesting. Okay, and on that note of being a little interesting, I'm gonna show you something. I'll get a little bit of glycerin here. I'll use the same brush. I'll use this, this blackened dark mix if I can get some here, if I can move it around. Now glycerin will reactivate this stuff depending on how much glycerin um, you use. Okay, and that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just kinda getting, getting some of this color, almost like a glaze. I'm gonna come in here uh, probably right around here and kind of darken it up a little bit. There's a reason why I'm doing this. Okay. I think I'm going to spread a, a little bit of that love in here too. Just like that. There's a reason why. Okay. I'll keep it like that. All right. <laughs> B 
roof don't bore me. I'm pretty good at doing that multitask uh, thing. What are you doing, Bluto? I'm usually doing that multitask thing. He's shifting his weight on the couch, and when he, you know he shifts all that bulk on the couch, something usually gives, and it's not usually him. So he's doing something over there. I just can't see him. All right, we're gonna take this lighter color here, and we're gonna have these two petals here. We're gonna we're gonna couple them inward. Very simple to do this. We'll start here from the bottom, and I'm gonna take it here. Okay, and I'll give it a little push, 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 and then we get narrow and narrow and narrow. We come up around in this way like that. So we'll just turn that pedal right inside there. All right, we're going to do that again on the other side. If you're new to it, you can mirror as best you can. Okay, and basically what I'm doing, I'm going opposite. Um, I'll start it like right here. Boom. Boom, go out more, go out even more. Go right to the edge. Go out to and just start going inward. And we're gonna kind of circle it in there. The reason why I'm doing it like this is because this one pedal is out in front. So we'll it'll be hidden a little bit. It's okay. Alright. Alright, so we got that. It's cupped inward. That's why we have the shadow there. You follow me? Okay. Alright. All right, uh, I'm looking, 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 looking. I think I might want to play around some more with that. So let's get a little bit of dark blue. We'll put it right here. I did not take the light blue off of the brush. It really doesn't matter at this point. I just need something a little darker. Maybe a slight hint of black in there. Just a slight touch. Um, doesn't have too much glycerin on it. It's just mainly paint, if anything. We'll do some of that here. We'll kind of come here and come bring it outward like this and I'm just really just really almost it's not really a dry brush but I'm just kind of lightly fluffing it through there just like that I'll bring it out here like that because we're going to get a fold right here why not okay I'll just keep playing with it there like that all right wipe off the brush real good here Um, dip into a little bit of white. We'll put it right in here. We'll contaminate that white a little bit. I'm going to get a little glycerin. The glycerin will activate this blue. Okay, just like that. There we go. And once again, you pull it towards you. Pull it towards you. Okay, get an equal amount of paint. And plus, I'll show you here, you still got a nice sharp edge there. All right. Okay. And we're gonna come here, right in here, just like this. Come on around and it will disappear in there like that. And we'll deal with that fold up in there. Maybe we'll get a nice crusty little edge going in here like this. And then we'll just make it disappear like that. All right, there's something pretty interesting over there. We'll use a smaller brush to do whatever we gotta do with that. Okay, all right, let's use utilize this here for the outside pedals it's all right get a little brighter you do um these guys a step at a time all right don't 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 kill yourself do it a piece at a time i'll just put the glycerin on there just to make it a little more um just to make it flow a little better <coughs> Well, no, you're just taking a, a piece at a time. It has to be a little brighter. I can tell right now it has to be brighter than this. You think it's bright on your on your um, palette until you put it up here next to it and it's not bright enough. Once again, I'm pulling it towards me. Okay. All right. Now, remember, see those two little dots there? All right. Okay. And you have the meat towards the dot. I'm going to give it a little push. A little push. And then we're going to bring it out that way all right I don't want it too abrupt so what I'll do is I'll kind of see that I'll make it really kind of gentle I'll keep playing with that till I get the, the kind of shading I want but 
we'll do it this way first because it is glycerin so but you follow that dot I'm just giving it a little push and I'm dragging it down a little push I'll take it and drag it downward push drag it down push drag it down push push give it a little curve to it bring it in there push look at that you see how easy that forms okay And if I don't want the striations too heavy, I'll just go over it. Okay. There we go. Don't always make them even, make, you know, give them a little character to it. You know, have some kind of come up a little more, a little crooked. All right. Like that. So that's one down. We're going to do the other side there. Get some more paint. I can tell by the pull of the brush and needs a little more glycerin -y. now as we're doing this when it um when the paint dries it sets it gets a little darker it appears to get darker but it's, it's just drying out all right <clears throat> so all that shine won't be there once again give it a little pop come on down here now all up in here i'll just get a little bit lighter follow that dot you can always correct your strokes if you think they're a little wayward don't worry about that you can always fix it okay this is why I got that softy little brush here I can kind of smooth those out a little bit and you can always go back over it again okay if you feel you need to okay If you make an edge go away, bring it back. See that? It's okay. It's all right. Bring it right back. If you need some bright stuff going on, you just put it in there like that. And once again, you take your brush and you can kind of lighten what you want to lighten, strengthen what you want to strengthen. Really up to you. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna get a touch of white. There's some things I want kind of to stick out a little bit more. Just like that, and bring it down a little bit. I think we're good. Like that. Okay, let's get a little bit more blue or bluish green, whatever you want to call it. Kind of mix it in there. Let's get a little glycerin. Now with the glycerin, I go into the lighter part right in here and get some of that. We'll lighten it up a little bit. Just stir it around in there. Now remember, this cakes up a lot of paint. And if I don't want a lot of paint on my brush, I'll just rinse it off. Or I would take a dry towel or something and just wipe the paint off real fast. All right. And then I'll just get what I have here. All right. Pull it towards me. I'll go slow. Pull it towards me. All right. Okie dokie. Let's take, uh, let's take these, this fellow here. And let's just kind of give him a little slight push. Now you figure, well, what direction am I going when I do this? Well, it would be right there. Okay. That's where you would, you would pull that stuff. All right. Each one of those folds have their own vanishing point. Each one. All right. So this one will be uh, somewhere around in there. And you give it a little directional pull. And basically what I'm doing really is just building up a light area. For the outside uh, petals there. All right. Okay. Get a little bit of white. It's still contaminated with the blue, so no big deal. And I'll maybe hit some of these here. Maybe I'll just have a petal just like 
eke out over this way. And if I don't want the striations too strong, it's all right. I'll just kind of rub it into the to the blue a little bit, just like that. Just try to make it as smooth as possible. All right, and get a little bit of white, and I'll come here and really kind of highlight that the edge, if anything, just like that. I'll come here and do the same thing. All I want really is just a gentle separation. Okay. And bring it on down there like that. Yeah. Do a little, little bit of that on this side. Sometimes all you need really is a slight line. Just kind of push it a little bit just like that. Alright. And it just naturally pulls it right out. Alright. Now this one is bold, bold inward. Just kind of give it a little something here, like that, and come on in, come on around here, it's like that. Nah, we'll keep it like that. All right, okay. Let's get a little more glycerin. We'll come over here and get some, pull some more paint. Remember, the glycerin just loosens up the the paint. Um, it's a gradual thing. You'll know how to uh, get do this the more you mess around with it something like that um we'll go a little brighter like uh right here maybe the light catches right in there like that okay and i'll just take mr softy brush here and i'll kind of wisp it left and right right in here bring it down a little bit I'll keep working at it there put it right up on top and right here on the bottom make it disappear on the edges there Bit of that original color and we'll kind of come in here and play with that a little bit right up in there kind of I'll wipe off the brush it really gradual there Just like that. Alrighty, let's go to the other side over there. Let's get some of this. I'll keep pulling it in the light area till I get a, a, um, a shade I want. I want it lighter, but I don't want to put no large rim of color on that edge. Something has to kind of pinpoint a light edge and a darker edge. We'll create a petal in here like this and have it kind of come downward like so. Now, since I have a petal in front of a petal, I'll lighten it just a little bit, just a wee bit. This guy here is a, a little bit in front of the other fellow so i'll just kind of make him a little little, little little brighter just like that okay all right uh oh here we'll do that with this one maybe i'll use a darker because i know it's, it's a little bit we'll just kind of 
take him and curve him inward the other way. We'll curve him in. Now in curving that one in, I have to bring out the other previous petal a little bit more. So it's just a touch of white with a little bit of this funky color and just kind of bring him out a little bit more. That's all. Let's bring him out a little bit more. I will take a little bit of this color because I think it's a little bit brighter still. Yeah, that might be all right. Let's see. Yeah. And I overlap just a little bit. Because I want it to just to kind of show that it is in front of the other guy. All right, just a little bit. All right, we'll take a little bit of white. Because now I'm fine tuning certain things before I move on to the next. Like out here, I'll give it a slight push. Slight push. Bring him in. I think I'm going to outlight him a little bit better. And it's just the outline. I can kind of I'll fade out that one a little bit. Don't too much if you start taking the paint away though. Just like so. <laughs> now remember when I said once it dries it gets a little darker. And if it does, you just reinforce it with a little more white. And really I want the line on the edge more than anything else. So it's really a nice tight line there to bring that out. All right, we're good. We're good with that. Okay, boss. Birds are finished. Great. All right. So we've got some of that done let's take um let's take the same well i guess i'll i'll do it with a little i'll do it with a darker yellow it'll still stand out pretty decent we'll put some tendrils in there i'll just use a little bit of um ochre uh <coughs> We'll put one through here. We have one kind of coming across there. Something like that. Well, and we may have one come up here somewhere like that. Okay. All right. We'll take a little bit of white, a little bit of ochre. We'll mix it in there, brighten it up a little bit like that. We'll tap this in there. This might work. And we'll kind of follow those lines there. And we'll kind of pop them in a little heavier at the, kind of put them in there like that. Uh, kind of wake some of them up there at the tip.
think I want a little bit of um Ooh, we'll get some of this darker stuff. Maybe I might want to uh, put one right in here. A little darker. We'll keep it at a roundish kind of look there. Just a petal to come in between those a little bit. Take a little bit of white. Uh, we'll go into this darker color here. Small touch of glycerin. We're gonna loosen that up a little. We'll come over here and we'll just pull this toward me. I still want a, a nice sharp edge. And we'll kinda bit of white just a little bit and we'll kind of just like that and every time I do something like that now remember I have to put the ones in the front ahead of this so I gotta thicken that up a little bit and it's usually a little bit of white we'll, we'll touch it up a little And it just puts that one further back that's all I don't try to use too much glycerin with the white too much because it does leave a chalky residue so just a little dab will do you all right and once again I am bringing this Once again, I'm bringing this, bringing them out in the forefront, like so. Just like that. Mm, let's give it a brighter mark right in here. Right in here. Go in a circular motion. And just gently fade that out a little bit. Just like that. So, you know, I'm just get it a little bright on one side just like so mm, we can do a little bit of that right in here it is just a circular motion and as I do this it just gets a little a little lighter toward the edge so you know you pretty much know where things are kind of um, kind of hitting that there all right okay as I do that and I'm looking at it still I'm getting a little more glycerin I'll put it here in this bright stuff now once again this is pretty nitpicky but it's just certain areas I want to stick out a little more because these flowers aren't really the most complicated um, they're pretty simple just giant leaves okay or giant petals excuse me they're not leaves they're giant petals I just want to brighten this fellow up a little bit more. That's all. Oh, uh, I think we're 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 okay. Somewhat, we're we're fine. We'll give a little something over here a little bit. That's about it, right there. All right. Hey, Diana, how are you? It's good to see you. All right, as I'm looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, I'm checking it out, checking it out. I need a stronger rim of white before I move on. 
right here. Sometimes it's just a gentle little touch. Just like that. And let's, uh, let's play with that here too. Little, and remember, it, this, this little, little rim of white, it just brings the petals out a little more. Have them stand out there. So that little rim of white helps that recede back into the flower, into that cup there. All right. And that's basically all I'm doing. And once again, every time, you know, I check it out, I see that, you know, some of the color recedes. It dries so it's not as bright. So I just got to kind of bump up those edges a little bit. And you'll do this a number of times. Um, with oil paint, you wouldn't do it as much because it's um, pretty vibrant. It all depends on which way you want to go with it. All right. So it, it's really debatable. It's, you know, it's truly your choice of how far you want to go with it. Okay, we'll stop playing with it. <coughs> Let's play with some um, leaves here. Let me clean off my small brush. Since we're over here on this side anyway. Do I have a preference? Um, not really. Um, I, I mean, uh, the, doing the florals, I'm the, I'm the newest at doing the florals even though I did them for a few years. But I started off with landscapes, mountains and lakes and streams and stuff like that I started off like that people it, it's the it's the people that that really prefer me doing the flowers I guess it was something either um, pretty new they haven't really seen me do them and I guess apparently I do them well enough to they, they really um, really want me to keep doing them um, so I you know I don't feel uh, uh, some people rather prefer me to do the flowers more than the landscapes and you know I, that doesn't make me feel bad or anything like that um, the fact that people still want to prefer to see me paint period I'm happy with that by itself so <coughs> <coughs> so no I, I, I don't have a preference really to do either or if I find myself doing too many of one thing for a while then I'll switch up which is why I'm doing the flowers because I think I did enough log cabins and houses and mountains and, and I think I did a few lakes and oceans and waves so um, as a matter of fact the last painting the tribute painting I did that was a log cabin and some snow so I think they may want to see some more florals for a change so the flowers or the leaves here yeah they're going to start off fairly dark it actually helps to start them off uh, this dark with the darkened background and basically I'm just really going for the shape right now all when I do the highlighting and stuff then we'll get into the, the details so it's mainly me just painting in the shape I use a little bit of glycerin and some of this I just used um, the uh, ultramarine or the uh, Prussian blue and the sap green together it's just a deeper green so let's bring this up so you guys can see the whole thing in there and I'll push it a little bit more to the left. All right, at least we got, um, well, we'll have our two. I guess I'll space out a little differently today. I guess I'll go and aim downward with this guy. We're probably gonna have some different leaves going over a flower or two. Once again, it's a very simple composition. So I'm gonna have to make it a little more interesting than I normally would. Um, would do them because they're once again they're not this composition of flower they're not the, the most difficult to do so I'll, I'll try to vary it make a make it look a little a little odd so all right we'll um you know what let's use a little ochre we'll use a little ochre and um, ochre and white We'll see how this this does. I'm gonna get some glycerin. Um, just 
just like this I'll put it in there now even this color is, is really not the brightest it's not gonna be the brightest color in the world once it once it dries up and everything it's not gonna be that bright um, all right this bright side will be here I'll press down press down make it disappear press down boom Once again, it's a nice little flick of the wrist. I'll put the little vein right in here like that. So you got to see what's going on there. This is a little, a little abrupt. So I'll kind of tone that down a little bit. Fade it in there. Just like that. It's still going in that direction. Okay. All right get some more um, put the little vein in it gotta add the sounds or it doesn't work okay all right just clean it off the brush real quick we'll add a little bit of a, a little more white we'll put it right here in the green a little more white then we'll add some yellow on top of that a little more white Believe it or not, that it's not bright enough. As I knew it might not be. And it's okay. It's all right. Just like so. And we'll pop some right there. Uh, we'll have it come to a point like that. As you notice, I'm not putting them all over the place. There's a reason for that. Just like that. And maybe a little bit of a line there. Not not all over, over the place. It really won't be necessary. Now some people like the <coughs> like the veins in the leaves. Some people like them, some people don't. Um, you know, it's a personal preference deal. I'll take a little bit of this light color. I really should use a, a script liner for this, not not really the rigor brush. Rigor brush might give it too thick of a line, but we'll play with it. I'll just hold the hold it right to its tip here. And we'll kind of play around with some little veins. Just like that. I'll play around with a few even on the dark edge. It gets to look almost kind of comic booky when I do stuff like that. It, it, it all depends on how much of it you use. Okay. To be honest with you. If you're a little sp sparing with it, you know, you'd be able to get away with it. Now, I know that the darker color will cover up some of these, and it's okay. Because they're so light. And you'll see in a second. Now, because I got a black background, I can get away with the radioactive blue color, which is um, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of this Prussian blue. I'll put it here. I'll stir it around. A uh, slight bit of white in it. Get a little glycerin here. The radioactive blue, I call it. Um, it'll look good with this black background. All right. I'll come in. And put some of my radioactivity in there like that. And I'll come over here on the like so. Alright. 
I remember it will set a little darker. All right. Just like so. Now, I'll pull the, I'll pan this out so you can see something. Obviously, it's not going to end with just those two flowers. No, 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 no. It, I won't do that. I just have to complete this flower to add the rest. So we're just going to stop right there for just a little while. Let's move on to this guy. All right. Okay. Let's uh, adjust the focus again. All right. So we have a flower. Um, actually, this one's is is it the tip of it's here, so it's out here. Tip it in. This is a fold here with one going that way, one going that way. So basically, all rows lead to Rome. Rome would be uh, right about there. Okay. So with me doing that, okay, whatever stroke I do, everything everything goes in this direction everything goes aims toward him um, even this guy um, the way it's, it will be um, um, painted because um, that's the middle it would be much like the leaves it would be kind of curved and going that way depending on what the uh, light source is okay so basically that's once again all rows lead to Rome. Each one of these guys is a separate petal. Okay, and this one's just folded. Alright. Okay. Let's um let's do it differently this time. Let's take the glycerin, because obviously the black is dry. Let's take the glycerin and we'll just add the glycerin onto the flower itself. Alright, so we'll do it this way. We'll add the glycerin right on the flower. Now, once again, this would give a different look. Okay, we didn't add any glycerin like that. We put the glycerin in the paint. This one here, we'll just put the glycerin on the flower today, tonight. All right, so we'll do it this way. Each one of these met, um, techniques is it's different. Okay, it is. So once again, we'll just kind of pop this glycerin. Now, glycerin doesn't turn your paint bright or it doesn't turn it dark it just one makes it uh, a little transparent depending on how much of it you put on all right okay so we got glycerin on the fl on the flower itself once again it'd be the same color as this one over here all right okay let's take a uh, well let's take the blue since we got the glycerin on there already so it's okay we'll do the blue first so we introduce the shadow color. Shadow color obviously goes right in here. Okay, and it flares outward. You're not gonna see it because this blue is what you call a transparent um, color. Meaning that even though it is blue, okay, we can see that it's blue, but on a black background, all right, it appears still to be very dark or near black anyway. Okay, and that's just what it's what it's doing so pretty much what it's meant to do all right all right um we had the middle flower be the flower in the front if i slide this over just a, a second all right so the middle flower was the guy that's folded over like that all right now we already got one fold on the outside okay so what we can do is paint these first and then these guys will be in front of these two so something a little different all right all right, so we'll paint these fellas uh, first. So we'll take that blue out. And we'll go with just this natural ultramarine here. These petals are in the back. So we'll just do the natural ultramarine right through here. And we're gonna do these guys first. Press, come on down, overlap it a little bit. Okay, overlap it, overlap them overlap them everything goes here all right don't worry about the striations here don't worry about 
those because you can just go back over them. if you don't want the striations then do one of those numbers all right number two curve 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 overlapping curve 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 just like that you see how easy that is okay but I want this one to be overlapped so we're gonna curve right over him same thing with this guy right here curve curve him curve curve everything still all rolls lead the Rome they're all we're gonna curve him he's in front too so we're gonna put him right in there let's give him a little more body back there just like that now they're all going in that direction all going in that direction there okay these two you don't you can't tell right now but these two are in front of the guy in the back all right okay mm -mm 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 -mm. he's fairly dark so we're just going to give this one a little bit of love just like that just kind of flare him out like this okay and we're gonna smooth them out on that end and give him a curl right there we'll tease some color in there but he's pretty much in the dark there so I'm that blue is being rubbed in there pretty good all right I can take mr. Uh, softy brush here and uh, bring some of that dark blue right in to that lighter color in there I'm bringing the dark blue into the lighter color okay as far as you need to go with it just like so all right okay let's take some white oh we'll put it and we'll put it right in here I'll bring it up a little bit get some glycerin Pull the brush toward me. Pull long strokes, pull towards me. Okay. Let's do this one first. We'll kind of, I'm not going to give up a push for a sharp edge. We're just going to do one of these numbers. I'm going to overlap a little bit. Come up above. It's like that. Something like that. And then I'm gonna just take it, I'm gonna dye it down a little bit. Still going in the direction of where you see those flowers there. And I will take this and lightly go across. It will just kill some of those striations very lightly, as a certain Afro artist would say, three hairs in some air. Okay. Bring some of that blue back in there and get some of that. Bring it back. Let me get a little higher in the center though. I'm just taking the blue out of here and bringing it up here. Just like so. All right. Okay. Now remember these guys on the side are in front of this one. So watch what happens. I need a little more white. A white there this is titanium white titanium white is extremely opaque um, titanium white covers just about everything titanium white will cover death very powerful stuff here I'm gonna get a little bit of glycerin there just a little a little more white you'd be surprised how much more white you would need that's because it looks bright and it stands out here it doesn't mean it stands out very well up here Okay, and even as I'm doing it now, I'm looking at it, it's not bright enough. There we go, that might do it. That might do it. Now, I have maybe the right shade, but I have too much on my brush, so I rinse it off of my brush. Usually I would have a, a, a either a paper towel or a rag in my hand. I'll just wipe it off real quick and then go back into this. Okay. It, when I do stuff like this, it just maintains a, a very sharp edge. That's all. All right. Remember, all roads lead to Rome. Okay. 
we'll do this one first uh we'll do it right here i'll just kind of i'll go crooked here and fold it overlap overlap all rules lead to rome i need a little more glycerin here and pull it towards me the glycerin it just makes it up it, op, it makes it applied um a little smoothly that's all and i'm coming right above that other flower other flower just like that and then we'll curve it in like so all right and i'll take mr softy brush i'll just kind of smooth this out tap it a little bit and we'll kind of blend it away real smooth like almost like coloring with a crayon <clears throat> actually you know what I like with this one I can get away with it I'll come here and add a little fold in there like this and make it look crooked and then come back in real sharp because we already got the darkness there so it just made a fold for me Ooh, ah. yes I, I'll change up something in a, in, a, in a split second if I know it will benefit the flower or benefit the sh uh, subject better alright okay uh, this guy folded so we'll just take advantage of that and it's probably the, the brightest so we'll come here we'll pop that little dot this right there so we'll come here and boom come here out here I'm following that right there I'm following it I'm gonna keep following keep following it keep following it and we'll kind of circle it around in there like so just like that I'll take mr. softy here and I'll blend some of that just dragging it down Just like that. All right. All right. So hopefully I'm not losing you guys, and, and I'm kind of uh, hopefully if you know I'm helping you to understand how how this goes. Just like that. Okay. All right. This guy back here. Let's get some more of this. Well, we need more glycerin it back there make it really there pull it towards me your ratio of glycerin to paint this is something you just have to keep practicing all right the more glycerin the more transparent it becomes all right and it, it the colors really won't stand out as much depending on how much of this stuff you're actually using okay um let's go here i'll press that and then every other one will get kind of short we'll curve it around and it, it turns into like a little line after a while like that all right once again I might make this look easy but it does take a little practice and that's all it is it just takes practice all right now as I cut in front of this guy I'll add the little uh, maybe a little lip of color here and we'll come down and bring it right down there like that take mr softy once again and we'll kind of fade him in there almost like a little coloring coloring book there I'll take some of this dark stuff and play around with it back up in here. Like that. Alright. Okay. Guess what I'm going to do? I see it already. I'm going to add another fold in there. Just take a little bit of blue. I'm ready in here. We're just kind of going that direction. Right up in here like that okay 
take a little white, take a little bit of that off color here, right in here like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. All right, all right. Okay, let's see what this does. All right, uh, right in here, and we'll kind of pop some weird looking patterns in there like that, and then we'll kind of make it this will slowly disappear like that. All right. Marilyn, good to see you. Enjoy your evening. I do appreciate it when you come by. I know sometimes I'm on at a crazy time in the evening, so I understand. We're gonna get uh, just a nice little rim of, of color here, just to kind of accentuate that we have a fold in there okay I will overlap so that lines at least appear to be somewhat looking straight you don't necessarily have to be okay put that in there like that now this one here needs to be highlighted a little wee bit more so we're gonna bring out that edge just like that it's a little rough looking which is fine kind of adds to the to the um, to the flower and to the petals I used to be a nervous duck doing all of this once again you just got to get accustomed to it that's all once you're used to it okay um and seeing how they would go yeah you know, I mean it's, you you know you're pretty much all right after that okay so Hashtag, uh, don't panic. You'll be okay. You will do this. You can do this. All right. All right. Do, 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 All right. This guy. We'll take him, um, we'll get some of this regular color I didn't take the white off it doesn't matter remember that little dot now even though it's curved and curled and I'm really putting that paint on here and I'm just curving it it's like that He's behind the curled uh, the curled petal, so he's not really the brightest thing out there. So we'll take a little bit of this this darker color. All right, pop it in there like that. Need a little touch of glycerin, make it a little a little smooth there. So I'm just altering the color a little bit. He's a little he's behind the game over here. All right, and I'll just come in, boom, boom. I'm overlapping as I'm doing this. And as I'm overlapping, a little bit of paint is coming off at a time, so it's gonna gradually get darker. I'll lighten that up a little bit more. But he's not really the lightest thing in there because he's underneath everybody. All right, now I can gradually make the front edge right here little lighter but everything else as you keep going gets a little darker okay bring the dark into that color wipe off my brush bring some of that back pull it back pull it back pull it back that's like so let's pull it back a little bit all right <clears throat> all right Let's take some of this blue. We'll play right in here. We'll just kind of put it right there for a second. All right. Then we'll take some of this ultramarine and we'll pop it in there like this. Just like that. Something like that. All right. Okay.
Okay. Jessica, I am impressed. You're actually staying awake for this. And as you can see, I'm just marrying the two together. Bring some of that color into the ultramarine. Just like that. Alrighty then. Let's take a little bit of white, don't matter. We'll put it right in there like this. All right, okay. You just take it, just kind of pat it and play and play and pat and pat and play, you smooth it out. If it's not bright enough, do it again. Make it as bright as you feel you need to have it. Okay, how about that? And then you, once again, you just take it, you play around with it. Almost like a little dry brush. Something like that. Remember, it's a petal, it's not really a leaf, so. Okie dokie. Let's get a little bit of uh, titanium white. Oh, we'll put it right around in here somewhere. This might even work by itself because I got the, got the, um, blue in there so this might do it this might do the trick get a little bit of glycerin we're gonna kind of thin that out a bit okay once again I'll pull actually just pull the brush because I'm not really pulling in my direction but pull just take it pull like this all right okie dokie where am I right here mm, right here in here I'll take it uh, we'll just kind of Right on its edge. Since this is the highlighted part, right up in here. Like so. I'll uh, bring it more toward this side in here. Like that. Just like that. I'll smooth it out. And I'm really just blending the edges. Out, um, the inside edges, not necessarily this stuff out here okay uh, let's get a little bit of that blue a mm, little darker a little darker just like that I'll get a little bit of glycerin make it a little darker just like that and we're going to come over here and we're going to kind of smooth that out a little bit. I don't necessarily want to get rid of um, those different types of values going on in there. All right. Now I'll just take the Prussian blue itself, which is very dark. We'll watch what I'm going to do. Here. A little heavy up here, but a little lighter up there. And I'll just take it and we'll just kind of marry it into the other color there. Just kinda. And I'm going to go in that, still in that direction. Just like that, but we'll rub the paint off my brush and we'll just kind of play around with it. like so okay now let me clean this off I don't want it, I don't want the paint to dry on this brush this tiny little short bristle brush so I just clean it off real good set it over here all right once again we'll do the tendril thing clean off this like I said this painting really once again it's not the most um, who was that? Hey, Bree, how you doing? You're not tired. Mm-hmm. Famous last words. Okay, we'll take a little bit of ochre here. And once again, I'll just kind of... We'll pop one here on this one. We'll pop one over here. 
We'll pop one in here and then it disappears and comes out way out here like that. Why not? Um, and we'll have one go that way in that direction. Make them interesting. It's not very a difficult flower. Okay. It's a bunch of uh, petals going all over the place. Make your tendrils a little interesting. At least you got one going in the petal coming back out. You got one looped over here. Then you got one somewhere back there. Just make it a little, you know, make it a little interesting. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's use let's use a different brush let's actually let's just use off um where are you we'll use a fan brush i'm also doing this on purpose because you can make the make the uh they're not tendrils they're stamens um but you can make them any from any brush you really feel comfortable with using okay okay so I'll just use these I'll just add the little dot things in there like this just like so all right and we'll come here we'll add a few here just like that pop them in there like that okay and this fella here goes around like so once again just make them pretty interesting Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Let's put some. Uh, let's put some leaves in this one also. Before I do that, I ran out of uh, titanium white once more, but that's all right. We'll right. just pop in another batch right here. We're uh, we're on the home stretch here, guys and gals. Let's pull some of this white out here. Mm -hmm. I'll tease it with a little bit of, excuse me, of that blue. Okay. And um, we'll uh, kind of pop in some love here. Boom. It's going to curve around. It's going to curve around. Curve around. Even more of a curve, boom, like that. We'll take Mr. Softy and we'll kind of mellow some of those out there. Smooth them out a little bit. Just like that. Okay. All right. Here. Let's go back into uh, a little bit of green here. We'll put the green right here. We'll put a little bit of dark blue in it like that. I know I got white on the brush. It doesn't matter at this stage. A little more blue, a little more blue. Boom. Just deepen that green a little. All right. Okay, plenty of green. Get some glycerin. Put that glycerin right in there. Okay. All right, here we go. Well, 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 we'll we'll put one right here. We'll do it this way. Um, let me show you something. Yep, this is perfect. All right, uh, we'll put it right here like that. All right. Uh, okay. 
whatever. Little, little too convenient, but it's all right. Right there like that. Okay. Um, so the leaf looks like a kite. Like that. Same thing here. Looks like a kite. Okay, you guys see the kite shape there? All right. Okay. Then you take the kite, you kind of fill it in in the middle like this. You fill it in in the middle like that. All right. All right. Let's raise this camera up a little bit. Bring it here. Okay. So you got the kite shape. All right. Okay. Um, I'll add a little bit of white to it. I don't have to totally blend it too well. Little touch of glycerin. Okay. Now I'll actually get a little bit of white. We'll put the white. Uh, put it right here. We'll put it right here. Okay. You take the strokes. Now you see the angle. All right. That's the angle you go to meet that dot. You take it, but you're not going to go all the way to the dot. You're going to kind of go in the middle press hard and just go up and you follow the angle of that dot so it looks like that press and you lift press hard lift press lift going in we're in that direction here press lift okay and you can see by the strokes okay but that's how you get that look all right all right we'll do it again we will do this one more again we're here I'll start from here Press, pull, lift. Press, pull, lift. Going it. Follow that direction of that dot. Uh, follow that direction of the dot. All right. That's how you do the leaves. All right. Okay. Let's get a little bit of white. We'll put it right here. Get a little bit of this yellow. We'll put it right there some glycerin and smooth this out Just like that pull towards you believe it or not that's not bright enough let's really kind of work that in there something like that all right we know where the bright side is once again follow that dot a flick of the wrist okay if you don't want these edges that abrupt um either you go from the bright side and go inward still following the dot um yeah following the line going at that little stroke like pattern like this okay you go in opposite direction it all depends on how you want it to look all right <clears throat> and we're gonna do it again start from here like that we'll keep it dark over there I like that way um, that one looks so I won't I won't pester it I'll leave it alone get the corner of the brush and you get that little vein thing happening there like that do it again over here on this side get that little vein thing going on there like that all right okay uh yeah let's clean off the brush i get a lot of paint on the um on the brush itself all right let's go and we'll just kind of dip it in here and we get the rest of this yellow-ish stuff we'll make it real bright it's like that and we'll get a little glycerin here we'll try to keep the intensity of the highlight color here all right we're gonna come here uh, maybe not there, maybe right here. Pop it in there like that. Like that. Same thing with this guy. Well, we'll start here. I can actually add a rim of color to that if I desire to, if I really wanted to. I'll just get a little bit of bright white and really kind of there we go. The brighter the color, less of it you need. It's just gonna naturally stick out there like a sore thumb. So kind of be 
aware of that. Like that. All right, it really pops out there. Okay. Now I can see some of this is dried up on on this side, so I'm just gonna kind of give it a little, a little more love on that side. You guys don't see me doing this, but you'll see the effects of it. You just don't see me really doing it right now. Mm, I'll give it a little line here. A little touch of something, but basically all I did was kind of outline those a little bit more. That's all. Okay. All right, we'll go back to this one here. Okay. All right, we're going to our darker blue here. Uh, we'll put it right here and get a little touch of black and a little more more black in that blue. Get a little bit of glycerin, just a little bit. Loosen up the paint just a little. The dark side here. Take it pressed. Go on. Uh, not enough. Not enough closer. That definitely wasn't enough. All right, where are we? We're here. Come on in. Especially under here, under this leaf, it's kind of cover that a little bit. Even cover some of that there. And then we'll continue it on this way. Okay. I'm just gonna show off that shadow a little bit. I'm gonna darken him a little. Put him up under there. Just like so. Alright. Just the like of that. Uh. Alright, let's go back to this guy. I think he's a little too blue, so we'll just glaze some darkness over him. I'm just taking a little bit of black, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, and some glycerin here. And I'll make a quick glaze. Real fast. A little too radioactive, so we'll kill him. We'll dye that down a little bit. See that? Die it down. And we'll come up under here. Come up here a little bit. Brush some of that in that direction. Die him down a little bit. Let's die that blue down a little bit. Just like that. Remember this stuff dries. So... You're not gonna see what you're looking at. Um, Cause once again, it dries. And if you got a little too much on you, you can always do what I just did and just wipe it off. Hashtag, don't panic. Panic not. I like some of that darkness, so we're gonna tease some of that up in here a little bit. Kind of brush it out there. Yes, you can use your finger. No, nobody said, you know, it's not an unwritten rule. You can't use your finger. You use whatever method that it takes for you to achieve the effect that you want. All right? Okay. All right. Let's pull back a little bit. Let's see what we got here. This is what we have so far. All right? I'll put the focus on a little bit there. All right. This is what we got. Now, the issue is... You got two leaves here. You got two leaves here, makes an even number of four. That's a no-no, gotta have an odd number. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna end up doing like five of them or something like some crazy weird number. And probably if I don't do five, I'm gonna end up doing seven. All right. Okay. And here we go. Let's, um, let's get some sap green. Let's go over here. We'll play in this dark blue area. Um, we'll kind of get some sap green. We'll just kill it with a little bit of black. 
you gotta be careful with sap green and black because you add white to it it's going to turn gray so keep that in mind all right here we go thank you jessica i don't know how many people are in here it looks like it looks like it says nine um nobody has any questions somebody has to have a question um let's go in let's see where we are where are we where are we how can i do this um how about this how about this we'll just get creative we'll come out here like this and we'll just come out out here we'll just kind of pop one right here Somebody said something to me, I can't read it. Now I know this is fairly dark and it's fine. You'll see in a second. You'll see. Okay, so we got something there. One, two, three, four, five, right? Mm-mm. didn't think I'd do that huh don't be afraid to paint over your flowers don't don't be scared don't be scared don't be scared See, if you would have been in that movie Fried Green Tomatoes, Bruce, you'd have gotten beat down and fed to the dog. But then again, maybe not, because tomatoes are a fruit, so you might be saved. Or they might come to that realization, realization after they um, buried you. So you'd have lost either way. <laughs> That's like saying, you know, people down south, they fry Twinkies. So, you know, actually they fry them here too at the New York State Fair. Them guys that eat anything. Frightening. Quite frightening, really. Yes, I ran out of, I ran out of white again. So close to us to the end of the painting, but it's all right. I would rather use it up and get some more. A little bit of a uh, little bit of glycerin. It can easily be a little brighter, just like that. All right. Just like that. And we'll come here we'll add some more love to it just like that actually let's kind of strengthen that one up there just like that good you shouldn't you should be a pro at it jessica and it's coming along uh, lovely, actually. You notice that you get better at them, the more comfortable you, you feel uh, doing them you know, after a while. So, okay, right back here, these, these fellas back here, the light's not necessarily touching everything. So, kind of mysterious back there. 
All right, and the little vein maybe appears up there. Maybe you got a little touch of something there. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, okay. Hmm, I should, but I'm not. I'll just do it like this. Uh, just a little touch of, a little, uh, little more than that. A little touch of this back there for this guy. Just a little bit. Let's bring him up a little bit more. Like that. Just a little bit. I don't know if I want to add too much back there. I kind of like it looking the way it's looking um, back there for that one. So we might just leave that one alone. We just may leave that one, leave that one be. One more. We need one more. Um, catching this Bruce and really I'm just you know I'm just having a little fun just playing around with these guys mm -mm 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 -mm. having a little fun having a little fun Okay, right about here. Pop one there. Pop a crooked one there. Pop one right about here. Mm, let's pop one right here. Boom. Uh, let's aim one down here like this. Boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of color there, a little bit of white, a little bit of green. We'll kind of mash it right in there like that. Uh, a little bit of something, something, something right there. All right. Uh, let's go right up in. Let's go here. Like that. And we'll just press, pop one there. We'll pop one in there like that. We'll pop a crooked one right in there like this. Oh, uh, we'll get a couple up in there, playing around in there like this. Just some quick little things right up in here. Like that. Come out here. Come off the page. Come come the, come the other direction like that. And come off the corner like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, right off the page. Like so. You know what? I should just put them all up on the top. Like that. Just And don't be afraid to m mush them together. Okay. Just don't make them look all super symmetrical. I'll add a little black to it. You know, I'll get some darker ones in there. Kind of hide and, hide and go seek flowers like this. Mm. 
Okay, butt them into the other flowers. <coughs> All right. We're almost there. Now I'll take my script liner and we'll have a little fun. With the script liner, you don't need necessarily, um, um, I'll take a little bit of green and put it in the rest of the white here. You don't need uh, vegetable glycerin for this. Try to make it as bright as you possibly can because your, your background's mainly fairly uh, dark. Come here and you kind of pop a loop in there. Go behind that leaf. You come up around this leaf like Evil Knievel. Go over here. Come up on the here. Go on down like that. All right. Once again, you got to add the sound effects or it doesn't work. Okay. It's got scared. It's going off the page. It's going in that direction. All right. <laughs> oh, you've been hanging with Bruce too long, Sonya. Too long. Too, too long. Let me put that in a little stronger. It don't matter. Uh, Twelve. Let them look for it. All right. Yep. The RV DJ needs a backhand, but she she totally she totally is a a, a Bruce an Anderson uh, devotee. That is all Bruce speak she just done right there. Let's get rid of this. Um, actually, before I get rid of it, let's kind of, let's destroy the ev evidence. Well, right. Once again, it's a uh, glass palette. And um, either, you can use either, um, Windex or rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. Either one will get rid of this stuff, as you can see. Just wipe the red off. Okay. I try to get into the habit of not letting this stuff um, cake up and, and, and dry. 
Now, even though it'll do the same thing if it did cake up and dry, you just let it set for a few minutes. Not even that long. It just eats it away. So, and it does. Nasty stuff. But as you can see, it just comes right up, cleans up. All evidence has been destroyed. But yes, it does leak underneath. Yeah, just wipe it out of there. I got this taped down to a larger pallet, so it's no big deal. And that's it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's let this disappear. All right, there you guys go. Let's, uh, let's even this out a little bit. We'll blow this up. You guys get a good shot of it. Uh, let's take the tape off this thing. Alright. Okay. Once again, this is uh, it's an unusual size. It's uh, t um, it's 10 by 20 actually. Basically, it's just me having a little, having a little fun. Um, I, I, I um, really didn't have a subject really to paint. I knew I'd wanted to do a floral of some sort, I guess. So, um, I mean, I could have went into another. Uh, detailed landscape or whatever but um i don't know i just thought uh cute little floral only two flowers but big mass of leaves now the, the the thing with uh doing two leafy flowers like this um you know when it comes to your your leaves the foliage around it you kind of have to you know put them in there um because like i say if you give it even number it's not gonna look right okay uh, so as I kept doing it, I'm like well I might as well just fill it up a little bit because you got such a, a, a deep dark background you know getting some stuff in here to kind of make it pop out a little bit more and plus with all of this foliage and putting the vines in there um, it sets these back a little bit so they're not really totally up front all right it doesn't take much to obscure something to put it in the back you don't have to hide half the flower I didn't um, but just strategically put them in places and and it, it kind of subdues them from being blatantly out there like that so you get something like this it's pretty even okay so um, believe it or not you have just about the right enough uh, right enough you but you have the right amount of, of the ratio of, of leafy stuff to the actual two larger flowers so you you know you're good okay um just stuff filled up here a little sparsey even though you got the two leaves here but they're pretty much set in the back because these are brighter than these so these are in the back more okay so you got um some brighter leaves here but they're kind of you know in the back if they're not really overpowering these two blue uh, flowers in the front okay so it's um <laughs> uh no no we'll never blame you sonya oh no oh no but that's basically as i kept doing the doing the 
filler leaves. Um, it's just something to kind of even out everything. All right. Uh, once again, it's not really the most complicated flower. Never. It's just me, really, just painting a bunch of 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 petals in certain ways and certain folds and folds and folds just to make it interesting because so it's just um what is he barking about i, I mean because i had to get him off the bed so i can put all my clean stuff on the bed lock the and close he wants to sleep close the door and he's spoiled well gee yeah. i wonder how that happened you talking to him like he's a giant two month old yeah i hear him over there chewing you should just close the door oh geez you have no 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 stick to it if this this is this is why this is why couch springs break ah oh, he's a giant baby he is anyway as i was saying um with the different values of the greens and everything you still got light and shade over there um same thing here okay and with these guys here all right the radioactive blue was a little bit too radioactive a little too bright so i had to tone it down with the black and the uh the um the blue but you still see them all right i didn't even put any over here but you still see it you still see the general shape okay and if you notice i obviously didn't highlight every bit of the leaf with super bright highlights it's just not needed okay some of them a little subdued in the back a little more in the front it all depends on where you want your light source um pretty much uh to be okay um things are a little more um lit on this side it's got the residual stuff here all right but it's a little more shaded over here okay um same thing with, with this fella. There's a little more activity here in the front. Not as much in the back, except for these uh, catching, catching the light back there. Okay. Um, so, you know, every, everything got its own, own you know, kind of, kind of uh, thing. So. He is so spoiled. And now that he ate that, he went right back to the room. You see, all he does is sit there and bark. Um, he doesn't do that with me because he'd get a backhand. He knows now. He knows once I give him a treat, that's it for the night. Not her. He conjoles. He conjoles. He bark and conjoles, and he gets his way every time. He's looking at me through the curtain. He, dogs are so cunning. He's he he's got his body blocked, but there's a little. A little hairline split in the curtain and he's shifting his head looking at me <laughs> with each eye oh he is cunning um, his mind is always going I call him dumb but he is not dumb he does know how to open doors yes not not the latch the knob so yeah he was something else when he was younger all right guys you know the drill i will make a thumbnail of this thing and post it um on um on uh, youtube i will make a um i'll, I'll post it on uh, facebook and instagram in a few minutes but thank you very much for watching me i know you guys watched bruce like i did earlier had a ball um yeah i had to break down and, and get another phone um, it's an iPhone SE um, not the biggest fans in the world of the iPhone but would you believe when I went to go purchase the phone they were all gone I've never even heard of that um, they had two left um, and so I opted for the uh, the, uh, the iPhone um, so I got most of the stuff um, on there that I need somewhat pretty much i just got a few things to kind of to tighten up on it and because it's an iphone and my other one was an android and i gotta figure out a way to get my phone contacts on there um i really don't want to get put them phone tech uh contacts on there manually but um i had a, a iphone before so 
I still have my iPhone account, so a lot of that a lot of that came uh, came back, but nowhere near as many um, because obviously I did it all on the Android. But I know there's a way to put them contacts in there. I just don't know. I gotta um, um, look and see how to do that. But other than that, I think I got just about everything that I really need on there. Um, so I should be set. Matter of fact, I'm probably gonna take a picture of this thing with the with the uh, iPhone because I can't lie. The cameras on the iPhones are incredible. So. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Have a good night. Um, if I don't see or hear from you guys um, by the time uh, Christmas comes, have a very blessed and merry Christmas. Enjoy yourselves. Be safe. Uh, people are doing crazy things here in this city. Uh, I'm, I'm just glad I'm a house guy. I don't go out um, because people are, are nuts and cruel, especially around these holidays. So be careful guys and and be sure if you're getting gifts or whatever put them in the trunk or or hide them something you know because people are st stupid and dangerous so all right peace